Good evening, once again, everybody, to the Boogie Zone community class. And as you know, we are not concerned with how many followers you have. We are solely trying to bridge the gap and introduce you to the next generation's leaders. Tonight we have Mr. Gabe de Guzman. What up, y'all? So your credits include being a mouseketeer, yep. uh, dancing on Ellen, mm -hmm. um, Missy Elliott. Um, that's my favorite one, just so you know. I mean, I'm pretty she, sure you picked up on that. She's the greatest human being you'll ever meet. She's I hope I can meet her then. It's, you know, you're just bragging. Some of the, just name a couple of your other credits. In, uh, well, Justin Bieber as well. What, are, what else have you done so far? Um, well, my first ever job that I booked here in LA was a Macy's tour as like a dancer slash model. We were modeling their clothes and I got to tour that with Bruno Mars, Far East Movement, and CeeLo Green. So. Still bragging. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess my first question is how long have you been a dancer? How long have you been dancing? How long have you been doing this? I have been dancing since I was five years old, so it's been 13 years. Okay, Crazy. all right, 13 years is a, that's a career. It's a, it's a num it's definitely a big number. That's a nice little career that started at five years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so what was your base style? What did you start at? So, um, I started out, um, of course, in hip hop, which is my favorite style, because when I was younger, um, it's crazy how I actually got into dance. I didn't do it as a choice. I found it as kind of like a exercise because I had asthma and I needed to find a way to kind of um, maintain like my athletic ability, but exactly. still all the dirt outside playing like and controlling your softball, breathing. T ball. I always came home sick. So my sister was a dancer, and they wanted to actually put me in at four, but that yeah. was the combo class, which was ballet and tap, and I was that boy that was just like, I'm not doing that. So <laughs> waited till five, walked into that class, and I just found my love and passion right there. It's crazy how life works. I feel like it's crazy how you already knew it was your love and passion at five years old. Yes. That's interesting and very, very um, Something enigmatic. Something like tingled in my body, and I was like, Oh, this feels great. At five years old. <laughs> um, so, um, who are you currently uh, represented by? Who are you, like we don't ever talk about as far as like mm -hmm. agencies or um, or anyone that anyone goes through. So I want to take this opportunity to uh, allow you to kind of give a little bit of insight as far as uh, what agency are you with or who's representing you and how do you get these bookings and things like that. Cool. So, um, social media, I mean, I know what you say about like followers and all, but I mean, it's definitely such a platform, just a way to express my, my love for the art of dance. Yeah. So of course people will find me through there, but I am repped by MSA talent agency who I've been repped by ever since I started the industry at nine years old. And now I am represented by dream talent management. So. Okay. It's definitely a new step. All right. And so do you find yourself um, busier than you ever thought that you would be um, outside of having your agency booking for you and things like that? I would say so. I never thought that like this young into my career that I'd be already in like the choreographer position and just being allowed like so many opportunities as a young striving choreographer to just like get my name out there. And it's so amazing like how life has treated me so far. Okay. All right. So then who are some of your inspirations as far as um, your dance career, your dance path? Dance career. Ooh. I've always looked up to Twitch. Twitch is like, I think, who I would say is my inspiration for my, um, just my dance style. I'm yeah. very big. I'm very high energy. And he's always carried that with him ever since, so you think. So that's definitely a big one. But I think artist wise, Michael Jackson for sure. Okay, okay. Shout out to Twitch, Reed alumni, Michael Jackson. Um, I gotta say, I feel like that's where a lot of people definitely feel felt like this is what I want to do. Most definitely. Um, I was uh, speaking with Bruce Blanchard and um, a couple weeks back, 
And in the interview, I was talking about how Michael Jackson is the only dancer I've ever known to point at his toe. And everybody goes freaking crazy. Yes. Everybody wanted to point at their he toe the, the same way. He can make the slightest movement. Move his finger. The whole crowd. <laughs> exactly. That's, I gotta, that's one of those inspirations that's kind of like, okay, well, how do I do that? Right. How do I do that? So in trying to figure out how you do that, um, where have you found yourself in your creative process? Ooh, that is a good question. <laughs> I mean, I would basically find out what's like the message that he wants to spread about dance because to me dance is a movement and it's almost like you're telling you're telling a story but it's basically words through your movement and yeah. without having to tell a story like with your mouth so i would always like want to find what the message is that you want to present to your audience and basically how is it so meaningful to you and how can it relate to your audience that's watching you because i definitely think the connection between the dancers and the audience is such a big factor mm -hmm. that storytelling is really what makes dance an art and not just moves. Okay. So then with that answer, would you say that you could find yourself uh, in your creative process, you find yourself wanting to tell stories? Most definitely. I think that's what plays the biggest part in like my creative process. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay, so your piece tonight, um, you kind of went back with it and um, went and picked a song that I still don't know any of the words to because oh, that's pretty much what it sounds like. That's it. <laughs> the energy that you brought to it, you definitely used your bass drops, you definitely used um, just the ad libs, everything with the intention of really not necessarily hitting but your textures like went perfectly with what was going on in the music so how did you come up with that piece i mean that was the first song that i ever found of future actually and i think he's just one of those artists that like he can mix kind of like this whole new trap system that's like going on in the world but still kind of have some sort of like momentum of like bringing somewhat old school energy back into it and that's what i wanted the energy in class to feel like i kept saying it throughout class like yeah. it should feel like a you got served type of like semi-circle and like you guys are just hyping each other up and just like going ham for it so okay. i think that like i've definitely experimented with like my different controls and different like textures in like music wise mm -hmm. but bringing this one back kind of brought me to like how I kind of started dance and how I got my name out there in the first place is because of my big energy and just being kind of almost, I'm still telling the story through dance because I always love to look at the lyrics while I'm like choreographing and I'm like, okay, yeah. how can I like express this? But like they understand the message without having it too much. Okay. Okay. And you had a mixed crowd as far as some of the um, younger uh, younger dancers that have come out um, up to let's say maybe mid 20s or so um, What advice would you give to your the little tiny mites you had a, a 10 year old and then I don't know if there was an eight Nine year old as well. Probably That's some really like really young uh, young kids that came tonight who probably have no idea what you got served is right. That was something that I thought about was, it should be a you got served vibe and looking at the kids like um, but what advice, if you had to mentor them, um, if you were given one month to mentor them, let's say what advice and what would you really want to drive home with them and give them to go forward with? Allow yourself to be a sponge and soak up as much information about the different varieties of styles. Besides just like your basics, you have hip hop, jazz, tap, there's so many subcategories in between that you can, like, information that you can soak up from each one and kind of use that to find who you are inside and like basically find what your style is not just be given the choreography that the choreographer gives you but how can you add your own type of flavor how can you make your own spice and use the ingredients that they gave you yeah but you add that little pizzazz into it okay nice nice you know disney owns marvel yes all right so if twitch is someone that you've always kind of looked up to 
let's take the movie uh, Civil War with the Avengers. If Twitch is Captain America and is separating, whose side would you be on and which character would you be on the Avengers in the Civil War? And he's going to save Dance because Dance is Bucky. Dance is. <laughs> I might have to connect you with some other movies. Well, because not to give some spoilers, if you haven't seen End if you haven't seen Endgame, pause the video right here. But I would definitely say Falcon, just because I would love to like kind of see what it's like to step into his shoes one day yeah. and like be able to um, inspire other people just like through what we love to do, which is dance. Yeah. So. The same way that he inspires me, that's the same way that I want to spread like inspiration to everyone else. You know, nobody ever really listens to Falcon though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much for your time. Thanks for having me, sir. Definitely great energy. Come and bless us again. For, for sure. the most part, come and dance with somebody again. You kind of stole the show when you came last time with Shaden and, uh, and Nicole. <laughs> Not necessarily stole it, but you definitely, like, borrowed it for a second and then left it on the nightstand while they were asleep. Yep. <laughs> we can explain. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't, Don't do steal, that. Guys. <laughs> exactly. Follow Gabe D. What is it? Gabe D. Guzman Official? Gabe D. Official is Gabe D. Official. official. So you know Guzman, just Gabe D. Official. Just Gabe D. The letter D, not yep. D-E, just Gabe D. Official. Official. Yes. Follow uh, at Boogie Zone. Fat. Follow at Boogie Zone Utopia. You should be following all those anyway. Again, hashtag, this is where it's at. Hashtag the community classes. Go to the communityclass.com. Get the new schedule. It is still ridiculous, and we have more and more coming. I am Philly Mo Really, though. We out.